Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Richard Rice, I'm a PGA Golf Professional. In this video, we're going to talk about the mental side of the game of golf. Stay tuned. Alright everyone, as always, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for notifications so you can come back and see more great videos just like this one. All right, so let's jump right into it. So today's topic is, is really one of the biggest four letter words in golf, which is fear. Fear or anxiety on the golf course, what is that? Um, well, fear, let's look at the acronym fear. Fear is future expectations appearing real. So basically fear or anxiety is our brain predicting what will happen in the future, predicting the outcome of a shot maybe, and taking that and it, it causes our brain to release these chemicals that incite our fight or flight reaction in our brain. So those chemicals are cortisol and adrenaline. Now, why is that important to know? Well, fear incites the same chemicals as does excitement. So when you are very excited about something, you will release cortisol and adrenaline. So fear can actually be redirected into excitement. And today we're gonna to talk about how to do that. So again, fear is a very real feeling that we have. It's hard to control, but if we start to understand it, we can work on it and we can improve upon it and turn that fear into excitement. Now some of what we talk about today comes from a book that I'm in the middle of reading for the second time called Zen Golf, Mastering the Mental Game by Dr. Joseph Parent. Uh, it's a great read. It's really gonna help you focus on some different things when you're on the golf course, focus on some different things when you're on the driving range and help you tie in the mental side of the game to the skill that you're working on in improving your actual golf swing or your putting stroke or your chipping stroke, whatever it may be. So I do highly recommend this book. It's a quick and easy read. Um, again, I'm reading it for a second time. I found it that good. So please make sure you put this on your Amazon wish list for the holidays. Get some good golf reading in this winter. All right, so again, we've identified that fear is a result of us predicting the future. Usually we're predicting a negative outcome in the future and we are fearful of that outcome, all right? We've also identified that fear is really just a release of certain chemicals in our brain, and those same chemicals are used for other emotions. So now we're gonna talk about how to take that fear and turn it into excitement. Now, the first thing I want you to do the next time you get fearful, maybe it's you know the opening tee shot in front of your buddies that you haven't played with in a while, maybe it's a tough 17th par three on the way in and you're on, on your pace to shoot your record round. You know, whatever it may be, fear can pop up at any time. But the first thing I want you to do next time that happens is say, what are you really fearful of? What am I scared of right now? I'm scared of the outcome of a shot, okay? So let's say I dump one in the water. Okay, wouldn't be the first or the last time I've ever done that. In fact, most of us are pretty good at dumping balls in the water. So why are we so fearful of that? Has it ever physically hurt us? No, maybe emotionally slightly in the moment, sure, but we, we forget it and we move on eventually. So fear is just a construct in our mind based around the result of a shot. So again, the next time you are in a fearful situation, ask yourself, what am I really fearful of right now? And you're going to think of a specific outcome. Usually it's, it's a bad shot, okay? So now, right after you've thought of what you're fearful of, what I want you to say is, okay, now, what would really excite me? Maybe it's hitting it to three feet. Maybe it's just simply hitting it in the fairway. Maybe it's, it's saving par from a tough up and down and, and going on to the next hole to shoot your, your record round. Whatever it may be, think of something that would excite you in that situation rather than make you fearful. Now, as you're doing this, I want you to keep in mind that our brain is not great at thinking in negatives. Um, in other words, what would excite me? I don't want you to think, don't hit it in the water. Sure, it's exciting to not hit it in the water, 
but your brain doesn't really think that way when you say don't hit it in the water your brain paints a picture of the water and what's the last thing on your mind before you're swinging the club likely the water here's a great example don't think of a pink elephant now what are you picturing in your mind right now 99 percent of us are thinking of a pink elephant when somebody says that so just make sure you're you're using positive affirmations when you're making these excited statements in your mind. In other words, hey, what would excite me? Hitting it to three feet instead of, mm, let me not hit it in the water, let me not miss the green. Think, okay, I'm gonna hit it on the green, okay, I'm gonna hit it to 15 feet, okay, I'm gonna hit it to three feet, whatever it may be. Those are exciting emotions. And here's a nice little hack for your brain. If you're struggling to turn fear into excitement, Here's how I want you to approach that situation. Again, we're fearful about a certain outcome. I want you to take that fear, let that thought come into your head. Don't try to block it out. That's near impossible, right? So I'm fearful of hitting it in the water, all right? What would excite me? Well, hitting it in the fairway would excite me. That would be a much more positive outcome, okay? I'm still fearful of the water, however. Well, here's a nice little mental hack again that I want you to try that's gonna help you. Smile. Smiling has a powerful effect on our brain. It releases positive chemicals and it helps our, our thought processes turn from negative to positive. So as you're turning your fear of the water into excitement of hitting it into the fairway, I want you to smile. Let those thoughts come through your head and smile. Then I want you to drop your shoulders down and exhale. Feel the tension release from your body. So again, we've talked about the chemicals that fear releases into the brain, which are the same chemicals that release for excitement, which are also the same chemicals that release into our brain for our fight or flight, you know, natural human response to these situations. So what are you going to do? Are you going to fear, forget everything and run? Or are you going to fight? Are you going to fight everything and rise? Let's stop being so fearful and let's rise above it. Let's, let's take and control our emotions. We're gonna have to work on this just like we work on our golf swing, but we can control our emotions and say, I'm no longer fearful for this situation. I'm excited. I'm excited to hit the best shot I've ever hit on this hole. I'm excited to shoot my lowest round ever. I'm excited on this tight fairway to go out there and poke it down the fairway one more time. So no longer am I fearful in that moment of the water. I'm not fearful of missing a green. I'm not fearful of missing a putt. I'm excited at the prospect of doing any one of those things and proving to myself that, hey, I can do this. Don't